Hello everyone and welcome back to the cave. Today I'm going to provide an update on the Dakota project. So a little bit of background on that. I didn't make as much progress since the last update as I would have liked to. Turns out, hey, I'm a dad now and I spent two weeks in Japan. So unfortunately, this got pushed back a little bit. With the diplomat on the road and running strong, there wasn't a huge push to get this thing done, but that doesn't mean I haven't made a lot of progress. As you can see now, it looks more like a truck. We have a sealed bead conversion to these nice projector LEDs. We have a radiator in here that's been custom fabricated. Uh, so a portion of the rad saddle was actually cut out to make room for this thing and it can be adjusted up and down. Radiator hose, it's metal, a little unconventional, but we'll see how this goes. We went in a different direction with the uh, brakes. As you can see here, this is the master cylinder. Uh, this thing is compatible whether you go power brakes or manual brakes. Purchased from Dr. Diff, this is a brand new unit. Um, I decided to go back to the power brake route, uh, which involved me dropping the column, removing the entire brake pedal assembly, and modifying that so it would fit. I was well on my way to doing the manual brake swap. I've already built this template here. All the holes are dr uh, drilled out. I just needed to basically take the trim off. And that's when I had a conversation with my wife. And uh, I want this to be a street truck. This isn't a race machine. Yes, it will be fast, but I don't intend on taking this thing to the track. Maybe once or twice, but I intend to street drive this. That being said, I think with power brakes, that's going to be a better fit. So what I have here is the Omni Booster that I originally was going to use. And I've made the modifications to the brake pedal assembly to fit this bolt pattern. That'll be coming out in separate content. I have a functioning gas pedal. So using this shattered piece of plastic as a shim, I made an aluminum plate and I was able to make this somewhat modular uh, gas pedal that will work with the 2003 uh, mechanical uh, throttle. You pull on this cable and there's a little sensor in this box that senses the throttle. So this has now been modified. So this just clips right in like the OEM Ram gas pedal. Other things, we have this here, gauge cluster. So this is from the Ram that I got the uh, engine and transmission from. And I've used the front uh, cover of the Dakota with a lot of shimming and hacking and grinding, I was able to essentially get this cluster to fit behind this cover and then this can screw in uh, as it was intended. Then everything should go over top of it and it shouldn't look too fucked up. But basically these newer, for those of you who are old school like me, these newer gauge clusters uh, are essentially just a big OBD scanner. So as long as this thing has power and it is hooked into the bus, that's how it will read all of its information. Oh, um, I have a drive shaft cut and it is now in the truck. This thing now actually has a part gear for the first time in 13 years. All I got to do is put this cockpit back together, get a lower rad hose hooked up, a uh, couple little wiring odds and ends, and an exhaust. Then, well, the Dakota should be on the road.